to the bold analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you a collection of videos from some counties that I have sampled and also play for you a clip from Wasin Gishu County Commissioner. And I want to say before I play those clips that this is a plea to elected leaders. If you are elected in an office, there is an allocation and there is something that you can or you should do to change the lives of your people. That should be the priority. Today, Kenyans boycotted the, Mada, the, the Mashuja Day celebration. And I want you to look at these videos. Nationwide boycott. People simply abstained. Not even the home county to the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto. Not even Nyeri. I want you to look at this collection. at the expense of the people. The most consequential breakthroughs in technological union ratio in our primary signal schools, the government has embarked on the single largest. We also congratulate 29, 29 year old name. Palisama Wanataka, either President Mwenyewe, I'm a deputy. President Mwenyewe awaongeleshe. Mimi nikatoka hapa nikaenda mpaka Embu kutafuta President Mwenyewe na Deputy President Mwenyewe ndiye awaongeleshe. Mhm. Mm Patira legale. Na ndio babu bora ya ndivi ataka wera. Kazi endelee. Ndivi ataka ona ndio. Hata kazi. Walikalidia <laughs> Nenji to see by the CC From those videos, and just take a grip, just, just talk to someone who attended Jamhuri Day celebration at the county level. Tell us, how was your county? And even any video, even if you're not in that county, talk to someone who attended. Just ask him or her. I am told, I've not got the video for Kisumu, but I'm told Kisumu, the number was countable. My county of Siaya, the event had to take, I think, only one hour. There was no one. Migori, Homa Bay, Nyeri, Kirinyaga, and even Western. Oh, something is amiss. Do you know in Nairobi here, the Jamhuri Day celebration, regarding Gashago had to ferry their thousand grannies, women, from Nyeri, Wakuji Wajaze Nyayo Stadium. They even had to go to an extent of giving, going with school children. Nairobi school children, wainu Wajaze Stadium, wapua uniform, wapua gandera, wakainda wataje. The kids were in Jamhuri, were in Nyayo. With the school uniform, today is Monday. Exams in Afanyo, hawako shule, shule zirisha fungwa. So we went for them. Look at these photos. Where are they? Watoto hawaendi shule, walisha funga. So, umpaka ikabidi tu, waende wa vaya uniform, warudishwe, so that they could go and attend that damn holiday. It's a signal. And if you think this is my only um, uh, statement, 
Then I want you to listen to Wasindishu County Commissioner. He was actually reprimanding the chiefs. My chief, Kazi Imewashinda. Hey, nini, hey, nini, 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 eh? Yeah, kumanisha, watu oma wanaenche, hawana imani na nini? Mukiwambia kwamba tuende ni kule, county commissioner na kujia, mkubwa kabisa, eh? Mkubwa. Istoshe hiyo. Governor mwenyewe anakuja, ambaye atakuja kusikiliza mahitaji yao. Na aweze, aweze, aweze kuyo address. Eh? Yani mwana insha hawezi kujua na kutambua kwamba hawa wawili wanakuja na nyinyi mchukwe jukumu. Sisi wawili na nyinyi nyote mtaka hapa muongena viti vile ambavyo hali ilivyo. Then, hatuta zunguka tena. Kwa hivyo, hii kazi, hii, hii makofia hii, hii kofia zote hizi. Tuzishukuliki leo. We do not want to witness such very low turn up from the member of the public in Osangishu, the count of his ex and the president, Vile Munifio, in a Bugan. I Guys, something is not really adding up. And Kenyans are withdrawing. I want to differ with the county commissioner. I really feel what he's saying. And his theory is that the chiefs did not mobilize. Now, that was in the county of President Ruto. In fact, he was saying that you ni Ibugani. Kwamba watu hawajaenda. And that is William Ruto's home county. Uh, Jonathan B. Uh, Kotimoja is thinking, is also saying that there are some politicians that are trying to maybe sabotage his rule. I, I don't think it's it. Okay, if, if that is the problem was in Gishu, look at the one for, Nye, for Meru. Meru can even understand because nothing is going on. And I've stood my ground with Kawira Mwangaza that MCS in Meru should not even withdraw salaries because they are sabotaging the county. Look at Kiambu. That is county with the largest population. And I think even the National Intelligence team had already known that Kenyans are likely to withdraw. So why do you think or what do you think is bringing this? That's why I started by telling the politician that kindly, the Kenyan people, this is signs of withdrawal. They're simply, they're simply withdrawing. You would look at this and compare this with the crowds that you guys used to pull at the campaign trail. Where you'll go to a city, you'll go to a town in Bungoma, now let a commotion, and within five minutes you sprout from top of your car and everyone is there. When you are vying as a governor, Ungejaza, a very small, a, a big stadium Ungejaza, because you are vying as a governor. And so it tells you that people used to go there because you used to give money. Kenyans are withdrawing. Why? President Ruto should be a worried man. And there is a theory that mobilization, even if the chiefs were to do their best in mobilization, what is the best that the chiefs can do? Can they pay people? No. Can they force people? No. 
Everyone in this country knew that there was Jamhuri Day. So, kama mtu alitaka kuenda, it doesn't take the chief. The chief is not media. I want to tell you why people or the Kenyan people are withdrawing. Kindly subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and also like our video. Why? President Ruto, the population is withdrawing because of one thing I once mentioned here. We are withdrawing services and we are withdrawing money from people's pocket. Yes. We are withdrawing money from people's pocket. I want a pesa. I want a pesa. That's it. I want a pesa. As to why they don't have money, that's what the answer should be. Is it about this, that can be a collection of many factors. Is it about Kazim Tani? The youth doesn't have the money. The people that attended those events are the elderly, popul the population who are to Akubwa. The youth did not attend. Nangu asikitanganya ito walikuwa kazi, hawakuwa kazi. Nata hawakuwa na watch kwa TV, because they don't have that TV. They were just somewhere rolling in the street. They didn't go. So the question here is, they don't have anything, they don't have trust in that government, they don't they even think there is nothing you guys are going to offer. And population is just showing withdrawal symptoms. Where did we get it wrong? Where did we get it wrong? We are talking we're talking about the chiefs not mobilizing? No, it's not about it. The chiefs have done their part. It is the Kenyan people, and the problem is the leader. Number two, there is a disharmony in Uda's win. Other people will call it illegitimacy. But I think there is a disharmony between the population and the government of the day. They're not much receptive of it. And this is because, and this might not be because maybe someone did not win legitimately. It may not be about the last election. It may be this disconnect is because of the three months lack of what is called feel-good economy. This is it. People are just given hustler fund. And it's supposed to create short-term excitement. And that is why even people who launched Asla Fund, they were strategically doing it December, ahead of this, so that they will create the excitement. What should you do to see that this short term and what is packaged as best solutions and best practices to help the people are not even yielding short term excitement. And if anything, if, we, if there is something that the Hustler Fund has created, it has created fear. Because they don't know if you don't pay what's going to happen. <laughs> I can't tell you. Go to the communities. Talk to people in the villages. They are so worried. Oh, I, I should not. But I have a relative who called me. Reason to ask him. Kevin, you going to limit your 700 years in the fund. Like, if you can spoil what can happen. That is it. People are not informed. And unless the few that have, are speaking from a point of knowledge know, but the few that are in the villages, sometimes the communities, the awareness level is not that much. And so they even fear that data to Kichukua because not in the villages, and because it's up, you don't know where that person is, is, is applying for the money. If anything, everyone is viable for the money. So what we are simply saying here is people don't have that information. And they even fear what is in store for us. Lack of feel good economy. People are angry and hungry and disillusioned. No direction. No, di no direction because the political leadership is speaking big English in the offices and the TV screens without with nothing on the ground. I couldn't keep to an afanya go ground. Which one day I go for political office? If you are MPs money, if 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 a governor puts two million in a community project, it's on a corner. Kesho, whatever is on manguo, 
wakavaa hizo ma merchandise wakikuja jamhuri day yes kama 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 if if something is happening they will put on it there's a reminder that we have a government of the day but people do not appreciate what is here and on this it's not about mobilization it's about the political leadership i want to echo what president uto used to he used to say it i don't know that he still did do it the, the challenge is between what is said and what is done but what said is normally good the problem is whether it's on ground that the priority is the people if the people are not going to be the priority then this time round i think the kenyan people should be alert not to repeat the same mistakes always just try another hand the new crop that is in us because the leader is not helping you so why do you think people have withdrew from that demorid celebration and you can tell us how was your county let's meet again